Well, thank you. Uh, thank you, Leader. And uh, on August 25th of last year, it's 200 days to the day uh, that Ted Kennedy uh, left us. And yet today, on the 200th day since his departure, we passed the legislation that was the ambition of his 47 years of a public career. And so uh, the leader appropriately, I thought, recognized his contribution uh, to this significant achievement of the American people. Uh, more than 80 years ago, Franklin Roosevelt identified four freedoms, freedom of religion, freedom of speech, freedom from want, and freedom from fear. Today, in many ways, we are fulfilling that last of the great freedoms. The fear that you or your family could suffer a health care crisis, devastate you economically, cause untold hardship for you for the rest of your life and the rest of the life of your family. Today, in a sense, what we've done here as a Congress, as Democrats, unfortunately alone in this process, is lift that fear from the shoulders of the American public. It happened because we have a senator from Nevada called Reed. We have a congresswoman from San Francisco called Pelosi and a president named Obama from Illinois. Those are the three people who deserve as much credit for this achievement. We, were the, um, we are the foot soldiers in that effort. Without their leadership, this day would never have come. And so it's appropriate on this hour that we thank them for their determination, their commitment, their never wavering from the goal of achieving this historic moment for all Americans. And so today, um, we just want to say to people across the country, you've waited a long time for this, and you're finally going to have that freedom from fear, the freedom that you'll never have to worry again about being devastated by a health care crisis. And I can't tell you in my 30 years here, as I get ready to leave the United States Senate, I couldn't think of a better way to announce a departure than to do so by achieving national health care reform for all Americans. Thank you, sir.